Welcome to Workshop Wednesday, where we take you into our workshop once a week. I'm Steph. And I'm Vicki. We're in a little bit different location. Do you know where we are? I bet you can guess. We're at my house, um, and we're going to share something with you a little bit later of why we're here. But before we get to that, what are we working on? We are working on installing a garage door opener. It's a smart one. <laughs> and here's a fun fact about that. Probably 15, 16 years ago, uh, we actually installed a garage door opener. That was one of the first big DIY projects we ever did. And she complained the entire time. <laughs> Seriously, the entire time. For those of you who comment like, I wish my daughter would do projects with me. It's a teenage thing, I think. I don't know. I was not like, I was a teenage girl. But we did it, and it we, still it's works, still working, still but yes. we're wanting to upgrade that to a little bit smarter level. Yes. So stay tuned, we should have that done next week and posted. Yes. What we are posting this week is, last week we talked about a little alternative Christmas tree we're working on. We got that finished, and so it's basically a display shelf that you can be, use for Christmas or all year round. So we'll have that posted later on this week. And now the reason why we're in the kitchen is we're going to do a little project follow-up and we're actually going to be talking about this tile right behind us, the backsplash. This has been one of our most popular projects and one of the most commented and questioned project that we have. So we just want to show you a little bit about how it's held up. We've had it up about two years. So let's head back here. We're actually using a product. The product we used was um, by Aspect and this is actually a stone tile. And many people have asked about water. And you, as you can see, it's back behind the sink. And we've had, there have been no issues at all with water spotting or anything on this tile. The other thing people have asked about is if, does it put, peel up in the corners? And there's been nothing like that. Actually, none of the tile has actually pulled up at all. It stayed very, very, very securely. And if you watched that video or looked at the tutorial, you did see that we did prime the walls prior to putting the tile up. And if I didn't point it out, this is actually peel and stick tile. You just peel off the backing and it just sticks into place, which makes it very easy. It's easy to cut with 10 snips. Uh, it's just a very DIYable product for anyone to use in their kitchen. Now, like, um, like we said, this is my house. So I've been actually using this for two years and I actually don't really even think about it because it's just pretty and I don't really notice it because there's no issues with it. I really haven't had issues um, with it. A couple questions we've gotten through Home Talk on our project that actually has almost a half a million views on it. So people are interested, we have found. Um, one of the questions is, does it do okay by an oven? Well, this is my oven and stove top. And as you can see, there's nothing there. So I can't answer that for you. Um, my backsplash just doesn't go in that area, so I can't answer that. Another question is, does it, um, can it go over existing tile if you have that as a backsplash? I can't answer that either because we didn't actually do that. We just primed the wall and put the tile over it. Um, but a great resource for all of those questions is a website called DIY Decor Store, and that's where they sell the Aspect Peel and Stick Tile. And they are really good about answering your questions and anything specific to your needs. They can answer that for you. And as we're talking about where you can buy the product, um, we actually have con we have a contact with them, and we contacted them telling them that we we're going to be revisiting our tile, and we asked would you be willing to do a giveaway of um, the product? And they were willing to, so we are excited to, and come on, Mom, let's announce it, let's announce it. Yes. We are excited to, to announce, announce. <laughs> we practice that, that we are doing a giveaway starting right now um, of 30 square feet of the stone backsplash. So we are really excited. There's about 10 different varieties. This mm -hmm. is just one of the varieties that I have in my house, but they have, um, a lot that you can choose from so we uh, will have a link below where you can sign up for that and uh, we will announce a winner in two weeks two weeks so just go to that link sign up and good luck to you yes very exciting <laughs> and now while we're in the kitchen steph has a fast diy to share with you yes come on come on over here so oh let me grab this let me show you this so a couple of I, by now, I hope you know that I like organization and I like wall control. So when I'm thinking, how do I get something organized? I think, does wall control have a solution for me? And again, wall control is a metal pegboard that we love. We ordered it once and we tried it in my laundry room and we were hooked. Um, so I have this idea. I have a cabinet right here in my kitchen that is just, it's a hot mess. I mean, the pans are everywhere. Things are stacked. It's not great. So I had an idea of using this. This is actually a very small pegboard that uh, Wall Control makes. It's just a little strip here. 
And I thought, I wonder if I could use this and use a couple of their hooks right here, a couple of their hooks to um, do a little organization into my cabinet. So I did that earlier and I'm gonna share that with you right now. So this is how my cabinet started. You can see it's not great. Pans are stacked on top of each other. I started by cleaning it out and then I tried the wall control strip. I put it in place, decided on a good placement and I just used regular wood screws to attach it to the cabinet. I didn't even have to drill pilot holes. They, they had a nice strong hole just by screwing them in place. I put a strip on both sides so I had plenty of space for my pots and pans and here I'm just using a couple hooks. We'll have a link to the hooks that we use so you can um, see what worked out. And I, the hooks were perfect for my pans and the nice thing about the hooks is I can move them based on where the placement needs to be. So you can see I'm moving it over because the pan was um, going to get hit by the door and it was easy to move. And also if I get new pans in the future, I can move these hooks around. On the other side, I added a couple pot holders. I also added my cast iron pan and it held no problem. It wasn't even a bending or anything. I also wanted a place to hold the lids in my pans and this provided a great spot for that. So there it is, this was literally a fast DIY. It took really no time at all. And um, I love that I can change the configuration at any time that I need to. And also if I need to take these down when I move out, I can easily unscrew them and have no issues. So that is done. Now we're gonna take a quick drive over to mom's house into our workshop. And lastly, we have uh, some gift ideas for DIYers or for yourself. Mm -hmm. um, so these are actually tools that we got from the Home Depot this quarter for the prospective campaign. And we've been trying them out for a little bit and we actually think they're great, great tools that people could give, um, give us gifts, stocking stuffers, things like that. So we wanted to give you a little bit insight on them and um, what we think of them. So first up, First off, up is this Dremel screwdriver. It's a very basic tool. It's battery operated. I didn't really figure I would like it, but I absolutely love this. It's gonna stay at my house. But here in the footage, you can see where you can just press down and it unscrews or screws something in. It's charged with a USB cable. And this is something I probably keep in my kitchen with all with the rest of my USB cables to charge those devices. Great little tool for a first time homeowner or someone going away to college, something like that. Next up is this cross line laser level. And this is great if you're doing a picture wall or if you're building something, you need it to be straight. You can see here we used it to put uh, some floating shelves earlier in the year. Behind us, we used it for the wall control panels that we put mm -hmm. up. And um, this is just a great tool, especially for a homeowner, a new homeowner. It's a great tool to have around to make sure that everything is nice and straight. And it comes with this uh, nice stand that you can clamp onto things. And uh, it also can just go onto like a normal tripod. Mm -hmm. So if you have like a camera tripod, you can attach it to that and use it in a lot of configurations. Next up is this Husky work light. It has a little stand, which also is adaptable to, uh, you can hang it someplace and you can just turn it on. I won't, <laughs> won't blind. Very bright, very bright. <laughs> and it's great for um, working in very dark spaces like underneath the kitchen sink or something, finding that leak, <laughs> um, or also just in your emergency supplies. And it's really light. It's very light and it's LED, so that thing's gonna last mm -hmm. you probably longer than you have it. <laughs> and lastly, one of the things that people give a lot in stockings is socks. And we're like, you know, what's the what's a DIY or sock? Well, it is gloves. I would totally want gloves in my stocking. Um, and these are actually, we thought these were gonna be way too big for our hands, but we were pleasantly surprised. These are larges. We probably would go medium um, for, for women's hands, like a, a standard mm -hmm. average woman's hand. But uh, these actually fit really well. They're nice. They don't have a real big leather smell um, and they have a nice good padding on them. So these would be great. I would love to find these in, in a stocking. I guess sure. what? <laughs> Are you gonna put these in my stocking? <laughs> That'd be awesome if you just put all these things That's and right. I keep yes. them in my house. Yeah. No, this one's going to my house. <laughs> and if you want socks, Believe it or not, Home Depot has socks. We did see that in their <laughs> gift center. So I don't know about them. I have not tried them, but I mean, they're probably good quality. I don't know. Uh, so thank you guys for joining us today. We do want to remind you that we have a giveaway going on. Um, it's going on for two weeks and there'll be a link below for you to sign up for that for the aspect tile. If you have a project that you've been working on and you want to share with us, there's a link below where you can submit that to us. And if you know someone that would be love to see our show, please share it with them on Facebook, YouTube, email, whatever. Also speaking of email, we send out a newsletter once a week and you can sign up for that in the link below. Bye. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks for joining Thanks us. Thanks for joining us.